Hey, we have uh, Trooper Eric Foster on the phone with OHP giving us now uh, more on, on, on what troopers are doing. I guess uh, Trooper Foster just kind of hunkered down there uh, in Seminole trying to uh, uh, protect residents from getting out there where those down power lines are. Yes, we are. And we have multiple crews both in Earlsboro and in uh, in Seminole just assisting. Really what troopers are doing right now is uh, we are going out uh, outside of these townships and and going down up and down these county roads to make sure there there are no other people out there that need help that aren't able to communicate and so that's really what our troopers are doing they're going from place to place making sure that no one else is in need of help we know in these towns there's a lot of debris down a lot of power lines down any specific roadways we need to let our viewers know about that they should not be traveling on uh, I would say just anywhere immediately around Seminole. I know that we have a lot of down power lines there. I'm still getting reports from Earlsboro and Cromwell as well to try to, to see what those are. I'm unaware of those, but I do know of Seminole because I was there. Uh, and so there are a lot of down power lines. There's a lot of debris. Uh, just avoid that whole area if you can. There are a lot of emergency uh, equipment and personnel going into those areas uh, to triage and to try to make sure that everybody gets the assistance that they need. And so if you don't need to be in that area, please don't be in that area to allow us to, uh, to be able to reach out to each person that needs it. And in Seminole right now, are there a lot of people like to kind of describe what's going on there now as far as there's this window before more rain comes in tonight? Are there a lot of people out there kind of securing their homes because they lost roofs or, or just saw damage altogether? Yeah, really what they're, what we're trying to do is try to make sure that people do have shelter. Um, you know, when that first storm came through Seminole, uh, we had troopers on scene and then, you know, we had to take cover again uh, because, you know, another one was, you know, coming up behind. So um, that may continue all night for us, uh, you know, especially with the rains and things like that. So we're just trying to make sure that everybody is accounted for, number one, uh, and that everybody has uh, shelter. Uh, that we can make sure we get them out of the rain. Uh, and then also we're trying to reestablish communications and things like that in and around those areas. Trooper Foster, what's the biggest challenge for you guys right now? Really the biggest challenge is just trying to locate every person. That takes some time as homes are spread out. Um, you know, it's not just one big metropolis there you know there are homes all across the, the countryside there so our troopers are going from place to place that takes time uh and then you know uh, mud and dirt roads and uh being able just to reach out to everybody make sure that they're okay uh because we do realize that some communications may be down and so we just want to check that so that will continue uh through the night uh both with us and a lot of other agencies uh working hand in hand to try to make sure that uh, people are safe. Well, Trooper Foster, what was that like for the troopers out there who are trying to protect the people? And then all of a sudden they're being told, okay, there's a threat of another tornado coming through. You need to stay safe. What was that like for them? Well, you know, and the troopers were notified that it was coming. And so they reach out to all of those that are out there and, and pass the word, you know, we need to take sh uh, shelter and cover. Uh, and, and know it, that's what they do. And so uh, it, it's just, it's something that troopers do. They're out there to provide safety and security, uh, and they'll continue to do that all night as storms roll through. If they come through again, troopers are there. They're not going anywhere. Uh, and not just troopers, but, you know, I have to say deputies and, and fire and uh, police officers from other towns, uh, are, you know, all converging to these areas uh, to be able to assist them. And we'll be there as long as we're needed. All right. Well, nerve-wracking nonetheless, I'm sure, for all those there uh, waiting to see if a second storm came through. Trooper Foster, yeah. we appreciate the time. Thank you, and be safe out there.